Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha if you're new here and thank you for clicking on this video. So today's video is going to be uh, me talking about how I got my real estate license slash how to get your real estate license. Ever since I posted my first week in life as a new real estate agent video, I've gotten a lot of DMs asking me about what program I use, what I used to study, any tips, things like that. So I figured I'd just make a video to be able to direct people to if they have any questions. Yeah, so I kind of want to make like a, maybe like a little series talking about how I got into real estate and like the steps to take. So I think this video is going to be just on like the classes I took and what I used to pass the exam. I actually did really well on the exams. I was brown and really well on the exam. So kind of how I studied for that, how I passed them on the first try. Um, I think I'm going to do another video about like all the financials and like how much it costs to get into real estate when getting into real estate you're like technically kind of like starting your own business it doesn't cost nearly as much as it does to like start other businesses but it does cost some money so I kind of wanted to talk about the different expenses there's definitely some things that I like knew in my head and then some unexpected things that came up so I'm gonna do a whole nother video on that but again that's for another video so today we're just gonna talk about how to get your real estate license how I got my license so if you guys enjoy real estate content make sure that you subscribe I am gonna be posting a lot more real estate content this year I do want to do more real estate vlogs I haven't had many interesting days and I haven't been like doing like open houses or tours or anything that exciting to show you guys yet so I just don't want to vlog me just kind of like sitting on my computer I don't know but more content will be coming and I'm gonna be doing more sit down videos like this as well so make sure you're subscribed also sorry if the lighting isn't the greatest it is raining outside you probably can't tell but it is raining and um, we're gonna make do with the light that we can get from the ring light right now I got my license in Tennessee. I know a lot of the things are going to apply across all the states, but some things might be different. So um, definitely check in with your state and see what you need. Okay, so first, in order to get your real estate license, you have to be at least 18. I just thought I would mention that in case anyone's younger and is watching this. But the real first step to start the process is to complete the required coursework. Like I said, I don't know if every state is the same or different. I think there might be different hours varying by state, but I Again, I'm just gonna say it one more time. I'm speaking specifically for Tennessee. I'm sure every state is like similar, but hours might be different or certain requirements might be a little different. So again, just like double check with your state and make sure that you're hitting all the marks for your state specifically. But for Tennessee, there are two, technically like two different courses you have to take. So the first one is the 60 hour real estate principles course. That one was just a bunch of general real estate information. That one specifically is more like nationwide it was pretty basic you go over the basic like vocab and um, rules and all of that stuff and then after you take the 60 hours you have to take a 30 hour course for new affiliates and this one was more state focused so this one was all like Tennessee related laws and specific things um, we worked through truck it was all like truck regulations and things that are um, specific to Tennessee because there's a lot of different rules and things that fly in some states but don't in other states. This one was narrowed down to the specific state. It was a lot of similar information honestly but then there were also a lot of information that was like specific to your state. I've seen some people talk about it and say that they took their 60 hour and then took the 60 hour exam and then took their 30 hour courses. I don't know if that's different by state, but I took the 60 hour and then as soon as I finished the 60 hour, I was able to go right in to take the 30 hour and then the exam was both of them combined. So it was just all one exam. So again, I've heard different people say different things. So I don't know if it's different. If, I don't know if you can do it differently or if it's just different by state, but that is just, that was my experience. I just did the 60 hour and then the 30 hour and then took the exam. So there's so many different programs that you can use to get your real estate license. And there's a couple different ways you can go about it. You can go in person and take in-person courses. I personally did the online courses. I just wanted to be able to do it at my own pace. I like the idea of just being able to do it at my own pace, on my own time. I can finish it as quick or as late as I want. I enrolled in Kaplan real estate courses. So that's what I use to complete all of my courses work I think from the time you sign up you get like six months to complete it which was way more than I needed but you get six months to complete it once you um, sign up for it pricing was pretty good I think it was around I'll have like a thing up on the screen okay so actually I did write it down so I paid four hundred and forty one dollars and ninety one cents for the 90 hour affiliate broker licensing with the master exam prep package they mailed me a book that went along with the courses and a exam prep book and then everything else was 
online. Um, I had a good experience with Kaplan. I think it was helpful. Again, I'm just speaking on my experience. I've seen so many people do a bunch of different ones, but this is just the one I took. Um, I was able to complete the coursework in under three weeks, which was really nice. Luckily, the job that I was working at the time was another independent contracting job, so I had a lot of flexibility and I used a lot of time on the weekends to just knock it out. I knew I wanted to get my license quickly and I just, I went for it. So with Kaplan specifically, it was a lot of reading and to be honest, it was a really dry. But what I did like about them is they had a lot of videos with different like professors that were teaching the material. So that was nice to just be able to like read about things and then like have like a ton of videos. There was a lot of videos for a lot of the sections where they would go through the material and um, some of the videos would be really short, some of them were longer, but they were helpful. Again, some of the stuff is just boring, but that's with anything. And then there was some stuff that was like pretty interesting and informational. There were a lot of like little mini like quizzes in between all like the different sections. And then there were like exams at the end of each section. You had to get a certain amount to pass. But yeah, I feel like it prepared me pretty well for the exam. I still didn't feel like 100% confident. I know I've seen that a lot of people fail on the first part of the exam or they fail one of the portions of the exam. We'll get into in a second what the exam looks like. Um, so I was really nervous about the exam. So that's why I left myself like a week. I feel like I'm all over the place with this video. I'm not good at sit down videos. So I bought the courses on May 19th of 2021. I started the courses on May 23rd and then I took my exam June 29th. What I really did like about Kaplan was their exam prep. I feel like that helped me so much. There was definitely stuff that I retained from the actual courses, but there was a lot of stuff that did just kind of like, was kind of confusing or I felt like maybe went over my head a little bit. So I kind of got to the point in the courses where I was like, in the beginning, I was taking a lot of like really specific notes and like writing everything down and like rewatching videos and rereading things, just trying to get it all in my head. And then I was, got a couple sections in and I was like, you know what, just get through the material and then we will come back and restudy. Like just get through it, get a baseline here and then we'll study and we'll make sure that we understand what everything is because you learn a lot. You learn about different like mortgages and estates, different types of estates, ten tenancy rules and all this stuff. It was a lot. So I just personally kind of just went through the courses, did what I needed to do, and then really narrowed in on things when it was time to study. But um, what I did really like about Kaplan was their exam prep. So there was an online exam prep and then there was the booklet. The booklet honestly was so helpful. It really isn't that big, but it was so helpful and it was easy to go back to and like relook at to study up. A lot of the videos that they did in the exam prep and all the questions and the material was pretty just like repetitive from what you already learned. So that was the other thing I didn't like is like the videos in the exam prep, most of them were ones that you already watched. I just kind of like played them through because you have to like play the whole entire video to move on to the next sections. That was the only thing I didn't really like. I kind of wish there was different videos there, but I did like the exam prep book. It was super helpful. It talked about all of the concepts, but then just like kind of laid out in bullet points, like the main points that you needed to know about each concept. So I really liked that. Along with using the Kaplan materials that I used to study for the exam, I also used Prep Agent. Um, they do have a whole program that you can like pay for. You can do a bunch of lives with them, have more like exams and like questions and stuff to do. And it seems like they have like a lot of like material that you can pay for. And you can like, I think you can like schedule depending on your package. I, again, I don't know how it works. You can definitely look into it if you want. I didn't pay for anything. So I don't know exactly like what, how much it costs to get what, but I know you could get like some one-on-one -on -one, like teaching and you could go on to like, they did a bunch of like live webinars and stuff like that. So that seemed like it'd be really helpful. Um, luckily they do post a ton of content on YouTube and um, they also have a podcast and I just binged prep agent videos for like those two, two weeks. I watched all of like the webinars. I would like do the questions alongside with them. And I, what I really liked about prep agent is that they explain things so well. So like some of the topics that were like really hard for me to like grasp my head around, like, um, like all the different estates, like freehold estate versus non freehold estate. I don't even remember what they all are. Certain things were just like hard to understand that I feel like the way prep agent explained things, just it just made it so much easier to understand. Like I, things I couldn't understand from just like reading the material, listening to the way they would explain that. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. I get it now. So I definitely recommend prep agent if you want to spend the money and take the extra time and like go through um, the exam prep, I think, 
couldn't hurt, that's great. If you don't want to spend any other money and do what I did, and watch the videos and listen to the podcast. So I guess now we're kind of transitioning into like exam prep and what the exam looks like. So the exam is broken up into two parts. So you have a national portion, which is just like, like I said, like how the 60 hour was just like the generic information that you need to know about real estate in general. And then there is a state specific portion. So that's where all of the laws relating to like your specific state. So um, the national portion was way longer. Again, I'll hop up on the screen. I don't remember how many questions everything was, but there's the national portion and then there's the state portion. You have to pass both in order to move forward with getting your license. So you can pass one section and fail another. And then you, if you do fail one section, you only have to retake that section. You don't have to retake it, the section if you already passed. And I believe you do get a few times to be able to take it if you do fail. Um, so you do take the exam through PSI and you can either schedule to take the exam in person or you can schedule to take it virtual with a proctor, which is what I did. I think when COVID started, hotels started doing like daily, rentals or daily reservation. So I actually booked a hotel room for the day and I did it there because I just wanted to go somewhere that wasn't in my apartment, the apartment I was living in at the time. And I just didn't want to be home with the distractions. I didn't want any noise distractions from like any pets or anything. So I just booked a hotel room where it was gonna be nice and quiet. And that's where I went to do my exam. It's interesting though, because you get a live proctor that's there watching you. And if you do that, don't think you can be slick because you're doing it online because they, check you have to like scan your id like show your face and then you have to like take your computer and scan the entire room like ceiling floor everywhere so they can see so you're not like sticking notes on the ceiling or like under the desk like they look everywhere it was actually like really crazy i was like oh my god so they did that before i started and then again like right as i was supposed to take the exam like when the proctor was on live they made me do it again and then sit right back down to the exam so there was no funny business going on so don't think I'm not saying any of you would do that, but if you're like, well, let me take it online because maybe I could sneak a little notepad under the desk. Nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, they're watching you. Exam, honestly, I was really anxious and nervous for it because I was so scared to like fail a section, have to like reschedule and like do all that. But once I started taking it, I was like, cause like I was doing a bunch of like practice exam questions and like I would get a decent amount right. But I'm like, I knew you needed, I think like 70% on both sections for at least like for Tennessee to be able to pass the exam. So I was nervous that like, okay, I was doing okay on these, but I'm like, you know, you can only miss so many questions and then you fail. So I was just really nervous and in my head and anxious. And then I started taking the exam and I was genuinely surprised by how easy it felt like i said i did do a lot of studying so i felt like i did all the preparing that i could possibly do but i was just like i don't know if i got the easiest questions that they had possible or if i just studied really hard or what but i was like wait and then it was one of those things you know where something feels so easy you're like oh i must be messing up because there's no way like it's that easy i was like maybe in my head i'm thinking it's so easy and i'm actually like failing i don't know <laughs> my mind was going everywhere but it's nice because as soon as you're done you get your results so there's no like waiting for the results you get your results on the spot so that's really cool and i was really excited to see that i not only passed the exams both of them but passed with flying colors so on the national exam portion i got 91 percent, and on the state portion of the exam i got 88 percent. and i was so proud i was like oh my god I just wanted to pass. I was like, even if I get to write the number you need to pass, but like right at 70, fine, whatever. But the fact that it's so well, I was like, oh my God. So definitely recommend, like I said, the Kaplan exam prep and definitely prep agent of all things like the prep agent videos helped save my life. And the biggest piece of advice that I have for taking the exam, like the number one piece of advice, if you take anything from this video, and you'll hear a lot of people say it, but it is, I think that's what honestly saved me on the exam, is if you don't know anything else, just know the vocab. Just understand the vocab, know the definition and how it's applied. If you only, even only studied the vocab, I feel like you can still pass. And Prep Agent had really good um, vocab videos to go through and I would watch those every day. I would watch a lot of the webinars and do the actual questions, but I wa would like watch the vocab videos on repeat basically until I could like say the definition before the video did. So if you just understand what the terms mean and like the basic concepts, I think that's like, that's really the secret, not even the secret sauce because a lot of people say it, but that's really how you're gonna pass. So definitely make sure you know the vocab if 
anything at all. But yeah, so I was so excited to uh, pass the exam. All the stress was done. And then I knew from there, it was like easy sailing. So after you pass the exam, you'll get something from PSI with your exam results. Then I have like the copy of the results that I have to send in. So the next step after you pass the exam and you're all excited, now is when you apply for your license. So in Tennessee specifically, I have it written here on the computer everything that you need in order to submit an application. Again, it's Tennessee specific. So like I said, when you pass the exam, they will send you something that you're gonna send in and that's gonna be your application. So once you complete the exam, you'll get an application. This is application with picture. I never sent a picture in. I just had the application from, like I just had the paper from um, the exam, but I didn't have my photo on it. But you'll send in your application you need to provide proof of high school graduation you need proof of completion of pre-licensed education so um like from kaplan i was able to just go on and easily download information that says that i completed all the coursework um you need proof of errors and omissions insurance policy so that's the insurance like kind of like liability insurance that you have to get when you're in real estate so you have to pay for that luckily it's good for two years but that is a couple hundred dollars i think mine was like 200 something dollars something like that um so you do need to get that and send in that you have a policy before you apply eligibility verification you need um electronic fingerprinting so here in tennessee i had to go to identico you have to get fingerprint and then like there's like a specific code for like truck and like real estate and they'll send over the results for you so you do have to get fingerprinted and then you have to pay some fees which for truck specifically was $91. So I believe that's everything that you need to apply. So once you submit all that, it really didn't take that long for me to get like approved in the license number. But once Trek got all of the information and everything, I knew the next day that I got approved and I had my license number. Um, so yeah, that's all the steps to apply. And then obviously after that, that's like interviewing brokerages and figuring out where you wanna work. If you haven't already, because a lot of brokerages, like you can kind of like sign on with them while you're getting your license. So yeah, those are like the basic steps. I mean, it's really three steps. It's just like, take the courses, take the exam and apply. That's the gist of it. Like I said, I was just getting a lot of DMs on like how to start once I did it from like people that watch my video or just people that I knew. Especially like I got a lot of people, like random people from like high school that asked me about it. So I was like, maybe I should make a video on this. But yeah, so those are the basic steps. I try to keep it nice and concise and like simple. Cause I mean, this process laid out is like a simple process, like do this, this, this but I just thought I'd make a video on it. And yeah, I hope this was helpful for anyone who's maybe in the process of getting their license or has thought about it. Again, I think the next video real estate wise is gonna be like all the costs that go into this, like all the fees from the time that you start the courses through the time that you are fully with the brokerage and have everything you need. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll film that next week. So we'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you next time for another video. Bye guys.